with the release of the Steam update recently, everyone's starting to make, you know, Steam engines and trains and car cars even, boats. I want to make a plane that is steam powered, but at the same time, I don't want to use propellers. You'll see what I mean. So the first thing I did was I decided to get some steam pistons, some medium steam pistons. I felt that they were going to be a good size for the aircraft and I made sure I had the right sides, hooked them up to a steam outlet and then for the inlet I ended up using lots of fluid on off valves. And the reason for the fluid on off valves is because when you putting the steam in, if you put it into both sides at the same time, the amount of power you're gonna get out is not great and you're gonna waste steam. So it's slightly complicated, but I mean it works and it means that I got the pistons to be really efficient. Then what I did was I made a microcontroller to control each piston individually with the valves. And the way that I did this was I got the delta or the change in the piston height and then used that to decide where the steam should be going and that way I could make the steam pistons so much more efficient. You'll see in a second. I then started to connect all of the pistons up to the controllers to make sure that the steam when it's flowing in is flowing in the right direction. And I'm aware this is pretty ugly but you'll see in a second I didn't really care. I'm admittedly not very... I, I, I don't care about how this looks at the moment. I can, I can change this all if I ever want to post this or whatever. I then started to work on the steam boiler and forcing steam into the actual pipes, uh, which is why I've got those two big pumps there. See, I've got the boiler now and just adding some controls onto the boiler because obviously you don't want your boiler to explode, but you'll see soon I had some serious challenges with that. Now just working on the firebox, adding some coal, very, very nice. Adding some controls, I, for some reason, added a constant onto the whistles, didn't work. In theory, this should work, obviously, without electricity. Now, hopefully this whole system here works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very upset. It, sh it should work. It'll work. It'll work. I regret to say, it didn't work. Three, two, one. Okay, do we have enough pressure yet? No. But we're starting to get some pressure. Steam, not much going through. I'm going to cut the water. Oh, crap. Okay, so if I had vehicle damage on, this would have blown up. Why is there no steam going through here? You can probably see I'm really confused here, and that's because I forgot that the valves work off the rotation, which there wasn't any. Right, I've just added a little spinner so that we can basically just rotate the engine to start it off so that we have opening valves. Hopefully this works, because it's taking too long. My liking. As long as the valves are open to some degree, then I can force steam through. If I can force steam through, <laughs> I'll be able to get this engine going. I just need a way to start it in the first place. I was starting to get really disappointed because I was blowing steam through and nothing was coming of it, so I tried to start it again and it worked. Oh, yes! It's working. It's stable at zero... Po wow. We're stable at 0 0.9 RPS. Would you shut up? 0 0.9 RPS. 1600 torque. Yeah, it's stable at like 0 0.95 RPS. 0 0.94 RPS. Well, it looks, looks like we put way too much steam water into this thing, but... At least we know it works now, so I guess we just go away. It's it's still not that quiet. So once we've got, I guess that's running, so we can, um, uh, I guess it's time to make it more autonomous. I then did exactly that by adding a whole lot of steam valve protection to make sure it didn't blow up and adding a steam condenser because I needed to recirculate all the steam that was going out of those pistons because you do want this to run as long as possible and wasting water is not something that I want to do. I then started working on the condenser cooling and condenser cooling, anyone that's worked on steam engines will know that that is difficult because you could turn steam back into water by cooling it. 
and doing that is a very tedious process with cooling because you, you just got to cool so much but I managed to get a setup where I had eight radiators, five by five radiators, just in a line, and that managed to keep it stable. Now, I really hope that these radiators are able to cool to steam. Okay, so this is getting danger dangerously hot. Wait, no, we've equalized, we've equalized. <gasps> Maybe we need to control the fluid input with the fluid level. That's not good. Okay, because there's no water going in. Uh, looks like we need to stop putting water in at like one PSI, two PSI. Or just like if the fluid level is below a certain point because if I turn the vehicle damage on this will explode any second which is not great because this this is running one RPS oh man please stop please stop please stop no it's gonna blow up it blew up oh this is gonna be a long-winded process isn't it I then proceeded to spend about half an hour working on getting this engine running in a condition that it could work without blowing itself up so I've basically cut that all out because I know you guys don't want to see that. All right, I think this, I think this is almost ready for uh, turning into a power source or <laughs> for a plane. <laughs> this thing probably weighs five tons. About this engine, and there we go. We have rotation. Fluid level is keeping pretty consistent. Our pressure is keeping pretty consistent as well. We might want to lower the fluid injection threshold because the seam is getting up and we, we can't keep up with it. Okay, so we need to inject more. What? What is... No! I then decided to do the only sensible thing. Turn it into a plane. I think that's a good set of rear landing gear, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> we said it was like 0 0.9 RPS, then this will be 2.7. This will be 8.1. This will be 24.3. This will be 72.9. Right, now, I said earlier that I'm not going to be using propellers. And some people might disagree with me when I say this. But jet intakes, or not, not propellers, they are fans. We get a turbine, just a turbine medium, and plug it into the power. You'll see that we can actually drive these. And often people will use these to spin a jet. What many people don't know is that the large jet intake, if I can find it, here it is, the large jet intake produces thrust, put a compressor on the end of a turbine, and then another turbine, and then out of that I'm just going to get a clutch. I can then get some ducted fans and uh, basically free power Tell me I'm not a genius. <laughs> I feel like it's going to work at the moment. I don't know if it'll work soon. But only one way to find out, am I right? This is the most awful looking thing I've ever seen in my life. But if it works, it works. Oh gosh, I'm nervous for this. I'm actually nervous. Pressure's building up. Oh my gosh. Oh. No. Well, I mean, it works. <laughs> yes! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, man. This thing can... This thing has enough thrust to fly. You go I hope you guys know I'm going to make the most massive fast plane with this thing. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. What am I honestly doing? Like, is there any purpose to this? And yes, I am using the largest possible control surfaces because I feel like this is going to flop instantly. I mean, look, how is this not going to go badly? <laughs> this is good. This is just, oh, this is cursed. This is so cursed. Who needs dials? I've got a plane that runs off steam. <laughs> the great thing is, is that We'll eventually be outputting, you know, about 70 RPS into these engines. And then that turns into 70... No, that turns into 140 RPS for those ducted fans. Oh, I'm so nervous for this. I'm so nervous. I'm just going to pitch up, just in case. Because as soon as those pistons start to fire, we are going to go so fast. Here we go. Oh! <gasps>
Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. We have a steam plane. Oh my gosh, we could go faster. We could so go faster. What the heck? It's it's far it's honestly fast though. Like for Stormworks, this is quick. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh no. Oh no. All thing all good things must come to an end. Mustn't they? I have successfully made a steam powered plane in Stormworks. It is the ugliest thing on the planet, but it runs. <laughs> what is that just done? If you guys want me to if you guys want me to turn this into a nuclear plane, let me know in the comments. I will make a video on that if I need to. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next hopefully very stupid and equally stupid video. Goodbye.